in your health matters tonight. It's, it's a parent's worst nightmare. Your child being taken to the emergency room for a life-threatening problem. I wrote to photojournalist Bob Rhodes to introduce you to a Benzie County mother who faced a devastating emergency with her baby boy, and now she credits a local hospital with saving his life. The nightmare that we went through, you would, you know, never, never know today by looking at him. When you do look at two-year-old Max McNabb, you see a bright little boy full of energy. He loves his mom, Meredith, as you can see, and you would never suspect that two years ago, he was clinging to life. After his, like, two-week checkup, he started to, you know, kind of cry uncontrollably, acted like, you know, his belly hurt, kind of fussy. A perfectly healthy baby Max started to act very sick. So on her way to see the doctor about the changes in Max's behavior, Meredith noticed something became horribly wrong. And I had a blanket over him because it was, you know, November, and we lifted up the blanket, and he had gone blue and yellow. He was a little bit jaundiced as a baby, you know, but it was all of a sudden like you could visibly see these signs that this baby was in distress. Meredith rushed baby Max just down the road here to Paul Oliver Memorial Hospital, where medical staff immediately took action. Started trying to get vitals, and at first they thought, you know, on a two-week-old baby, it's near impossible to get good vital signs anyway unless you've got all the right equipment and you know the hospital doesn't work on little babies here very often at all. His heart rate was um, about 280 beats a minute and what he was ultimately diagnosed with was a condition called supraventricular tachycardia, or SVT. Max's condition, also known as SVT, was something he was born with, but it finally reached its tipping point, which caused the little baby to need emergency care. It was this care that Meredith says was immediately evident at Paul Oliver. Everybody was just focused on, you know, how do we make this baby better, and you could tell there was just a level of concern and a level of care here, you know, for my family and my son. In the meantime, Paul Oliver's staff were in touch with Munson Medical Center, who informed them that a pediatrics team out of Helen DeVos Children's Hospital in Grand Rapids was gearing up to have Max transferred down to their hospital. Finally, after five days of tests and medication at Helen DeVos, Max was able to return home back to normal health. But it was the initial care for several hours in Paul Oliver's ER that made all the difference. The doctors and DeVos were just so impressed and couldn't say how happy they were at how Max was presented to them, you know, when he arrived. It's this type of care that's one of the many reasons the hospital was awarded two National Summit Awards for 2011 for their emergency and outpatient departments. The Press Caney National Summit Award is is awarded to us for three years of excellent patient satisfaction scores. And we're the only hospital in Michigan to win that award three years in a row. Miranoff credits the award to close to home care, much like the McNabb family received. The care that Max received is, I mean, really, it's the same type of care that everybody who comes here, they all receive the same level of care. The staff in the hospital carry a lot of pride in providing service. To win a national award, um, it just magnifies the pride they feel. I think the small community gives the staff a sense of specialness here in this hospital and that the hospital's doing something special for a very small community. If this, you know, ER and Paul Oliver wouldn't have been here, you know, we'd be talking about a different story today. It would just, the outcome, you know, wouldn't be what it was. In Frankfurt, Melissa Smith, 7 and 4 News. And just a side note about little Max, yep. his mom Meredith says he did have to take medication for about a year for his heart condition, okay. but he's been off the medication now, he's doing just fine. In fact, he is passing all of his EKGs, are coming back normal, so he's just a typical two-year-old little boy. And just adorable at that. As for Paul Oliver, it is only one of four hospitals in the country to be recognized for the two national awards for 2011.